Hi, welcome back to Awkward Hamster. So previously in one of my videos I had an unboxing of the Hophog HDPVR Model 1212 and I figured I'd make a how-to video on installing this ArcSoft media software. So here's the Hophog. It's not powered up yet and I'm just going to plug this power adapter to this back, the most rightmost where it says DC 5 volts. Once I plug it in, light comes on. First it was the blue LED and now before I saw a um, almost like an orangish, orange yellow LED. I figure I think it's just trying to boot up right now. Also, this was the USB 2 cable that came with the product, and the USB 2 adapter is right here. I'm just going to plug this in too. I'm not going to plug it into the computer yet. I'm going to first see if I can install the software, and if it prompts me to plug in the USB adapter, then I will. See, first thing that came up is just prompting me to run the setup. Just, I'm just going to run that. I'm going to choose English. Install drivers, which is step one. And it says check that the PBR is connected to the USB port. That said, here's that USB cable. So I'm just going to connect it to the USB port on my machine. And as you can see here, I detected it. Alright, let's go ahead and click OK. It's currently installing the drivers. I can click on show details if I wanted. Windows has a security pop up. I'm just going to say install. Here's the show details. The last step it says is just still updating the driver device. Now it says final return code zero. Driver has been updated successfully. Click to exit. Okay. Now I'm going to click on step two. Now it brought me to a setup window. I'm just going to leave the default. I don't really need, really need to install the infrared remote control application. So I'll just leave it the way it is. Currently is installing the HD PBR scheduler, the first one on the component list. Everything so far is pretty much automated. I don't really need to click anything. Now let's move on to the IR Blaster application. All right, now this one has a uh, interactive window. I'm going to accept the defaults. Click next, agree, next, and finish. Now move to the most important software, the Total Media Extreme. I'm going to choose next, accept the license, accept the default folder, 
and I'm going to install both, all, everything here the media converter, the media studio, and the total media theater. The studio is what it does. Eh, pretty poor description, but I'm going to install them anyway. It's pretty big, it's 480 megs. So I'm hitting next and accept the defaults. This might take a while. The computer has booted back up. So now let's take a look at the programs that it, it dropped in. So some of the folders, there's the ArcSoft Connect, the ArcSoft Total Media Extreme 2, and the Hophog Win TV. The Hophog Win TV, I don't really want to deal with that right now. I don't need to schedule anything or play around with the remote settings. The ArcSoft Connect, this probably just leads me to some website. And what I'm really after is the Total Media Extreme software. So I'm just going to run that first. Here's the record video, player, create video, and utilities. I'm going to first choose record video. And the source, it did detect my Hophog HD PVR. Excellent. That's what I'm after. I just want to verify that everything I've done so far was correct. If it was, then it would uh, detect the PVR capture device. As for everything else, I can just um, play around with these settings some other time or whenever I'm ready to start recording my videos. I see that it came with some presets here. I'm um, most likely just going to end up creating my own preset. Well, thanks for watching this how to video on installing the software that came with the Hophog HD PVR Model 1212. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.